And then, just like that, somebody turned off the rain and the sun come out. I have been wanting to talk about Jurassic World Evolution for a long time now. I wrote a review uh, about a month ago when I had 60 hours in the game. And my review was very positive, but there was a lot to complain about, which I feel is generally the consensus with this game. Um, before I get into my actual review, I want to preface this video with a few things. I'm not really going off on a script. I have a few plot points I want to go over, like a, like a just basic bullet points for the structure of the video, but I didn't write this video beforehand. I basically threw out my script and I, I'm just going to give my opinion on it now because my opinion has changed so much from the video I was making that, well, it's just, uh, it's not really worth uploading now because I don't feel that way. And, um, also, I should know that it's the 28th right now of August, and Wednesday the 29th, tomorrow, is the live stream for the new update on this game, which is um, very important. It is very important that this uh, new update addresses the issues I'm going to talk about, or at least begins to, because this update will make or break the game for me. And it seems like they're also releasing the new update as well, since the, the build is done, um, as evidenced by the uh, the devlogs. So, you know, it's w whether or not this update is good in the sense that it fixes the, the game's problems, or at least shows signs that they're starting to. Wh whether or not it's a good update, my opinion on this game will change, and I will do a follow-up video. But I wanted to get this video out before this update. As of writing this video, I have 131 hours in this game, and I plan on, at the very least, putting in maybe 50 more before maybe never playing it again. Uh, I've done everything, 5 start every island, 100%ed everything. <sighs> See, the thing that a lot of people don't realize about Jurassic World Evolution is that the game's problems can't be fixed by minor tweaks in a, in a patch. It's game's problems were born in the room where they talked about what game they they wanted to make. It's not the like you can change the Giganotosaurus's size to to be more accurate. You can make it so that feeders are automatic. You can make it so that dinosaurs sleep or there's more dinosaurs or you could add decorations, but when you get down to it, the game fundamentally is not fun and this like this this gives me a physical stomach ache to say because this is the most important game to me that i've ever had come out during my lifetime and i have been like operation genesis has been my favorite game since 2004 so there was a lot riding on this 
And so it, it, it pains me to say this, but the game itself just is not fun. And it, and it sucks because it's like having a movie with great special effects and you can tell that they put a lot of effort into making this, this look good and feel good and everything is perfect except for the script. And that's exactly the problem with Jurassic World Evolution and er, Fallen Kingdom. It's core game mechanics don't work because everything great about this game is in service to core mechanics that are just so fundamentally misguided so you two um big up big up dinosaur well. now i don't really want to keep bringing up operation genesis throughout this video but I feel like it's inevitable because this is just an example of this kind of game done right. And this kind of game did not have the fancy graphics. It did not have nearly as many dinosaurs or customization options or really anything on all levels except for one. Jurassic Park Operation Genesis is a vastly inferior game to Jurassic World Evolution. But this one thing is so important to all management and simulation games that Jurassic World Evolution just falls flat, and that is the goal. What is the goal in this game? Because here's the thing, right? In Jurassic Park Operation Genesis, the goal is to create a park and prevent dinosaurs from escaping. And that was possible. And it felt good to 5-star, because it was hard to 5-star your park. It isn't like Evolution, where you can do it in literally 15 minutes. You can 5-star your park. And if you get, like, I don't remember how many deaths it is, but if you get, like, 5 deaths in Jurassic Park Operation Genesis, your park gets shut down. Okay? this It's all about prevention. In Jurassic World Evolution, these kinds of things are inevitable. Storms will happen, and when they do happen, dinosaurs will escape. This is, this is not up to chance. It is not chaos. It is, it is something that will happen. <sighs> Jurassic World Evolution just kind of feels like a job. It's a constant berating 9 to 5 job that just isn't fun. There's no downtime. There's no time to watch your dinosaurs do whatever you want because... It's a constant struggle of doing very mundane things that in every other simulation game is just automated. It would be like if you had SimCity, yet you had to control every single garbage truck within the city, and you don't even care about like anything financial about the city. It's all about this very mundane, monotonous, repetitive, small things that should not be the focus of the game. You know, you take something like Zoo Tycoon or The Sims, which is very uh, focused, one-on-one. -on -one. And those small things, like, like refilling your animals' dishes or uh, grooming them, they work because that's the focus of the game. But Jurassic World Evolution is, is not like Zoo Tycoon. It's like Sim City, like I said, but it still has all those monotonous things. And none of it is automated. Why do you have to resupply feeders manually? You are the park builder and manager. You hire people to do that for you, but here you have to tell them what to do every single time. And if you take one minute to just stop and admire your work and look at your dinosaurs, you're just berated by shit that you just can't avoid. And that's the biggest issue with the goal, is that everything in this game is just unavoidable. Jurassic World Evolution is a solved game. If you open up your park and it's completely clear and there's nothing in it, you've won. Because if you build a park, you can't win. Storms will happen. Dinosaurs will break out. And it's all out of your control. The game puts a limit on you on how well you want to play it. Because if you want to build a nice looking exhibit, you can't. Because dinosaurs have super specific needs. And you, it, what ends up happening is that every single park looks the same. Not because there's not a lot of options, but because the game forces you to make them all the same. 
If you want to have a good rating, if you want to have dinosaur comfort levels be high enough, you have to build every park in the same basic layout. And that is the main problem with this game, is that you don't have any freedom. No, no matter what you do, no matter what research you buy or anything, dinosaurs will inevitably escape. And sure, in sandbox mode you can turn off diseases and you can turn off escapes, but then what's, what's the point of playing? Because the game has made that the focus. It's not about preventing these things from happening, it's about picking up the pieces of these things happening, which is fine. But the problem then lies in the fact that it's not fun to do. And this is the biggest problem, the goal of Jurassic World Evolution, because who is this game for? It, is, it isn't for the people who like park building simulators, and it's not for the people who like action games. Anybody who wanted Jurassic Park Operation Genesis isn't satisfied, but anybody who wanted something in the vein of like Trespasser also isn't satisfied, because you have both of these elements, but you have the worst elements of each one, and it comes together into a mediocre game that just doesn't have a focus, it doesn't have a goal. Which brings me to the second point, which kind of bleeds into the first one, which is the focus. When I finished my 48 species park on Nublar, I was met with this feeling of, well, okay, what do I do now? If I make a new park, it's not going to be any different. If I just let it sit there, nothing will happen, but if I turn on all the sandbox options, I am completely busy with mundane things that are not fun to do. This is about this was about 40 hours in when I realized that this is the game. It's not the building, it's not the management, it's a constant battle with the forces of nature. You cannot keep these animals contained. Life can't be contained. You can't win in this game. And while that definitely falls in line with the movies, and I, I, I completely understand their, their, their focus, their vision for this game, it does not make for a good game. It doesn't make for a rewarding experience. And it, it, it makes for a solved game. It's a pointless game. You can't win. Everything you do is in vain. Even the herbivores are dickheads and just will escape. Storms are inevitable, and they happen very often, almost like on a cycle. So that element of chaos is kind of thrown out because they're like, oh, well, it's been about 20 minutes on Isla Pena. Time for the storm. And, you know, I don't want to completely blame all of the problems of this game on Frontier. And I also don't want to put Operation Genesis in this this heavenly light like it's perfect out of frustration with evolution i decided to play some uh, operation genesis again after having not played it for seven eight hours um but instead of playing my build of the game i decided to just put all my mods in a folder reinstall it and just play vanilla jurassic park operation genesis and you know what i realized this game kind of sucks too <gasps> Unmodded. It's very important that you hear that this game has a lot of problems unmodded. You take away those problems through modding, boom, it's a perfect experience. Because the game's framework is, is, is strong. You know, I've been playing with mods for so long that there's so much dumb stuff in this game that, that you just forget about. I mean, for starters, every time you make an island, the dig sites are chosen for you at random. Which means some of them have X's, which means you can't get dinosaurs from those sites. So if you don't get Morrison, then... You're not getting a T-Rex on your island. It's impossible to make a park with every dinosaur in it in the base game. And you know, there's a 100 visitor limit, there's a 60 dinosaur limit. But all you have to do is open up the constant I&I and, I and boom, all those problems are gone. 25 dinosaurs isn't very many, but if you go online, download some mods, suddenly you have over 60 species in the game from a dedicated fan base of talented modelers and modders who care passionately about this game. So much that they want to change it to their liking. If this was the game, and it was unmoddable, I wouldn't have thousands and thousands of hours in this game. Jurassic World Evolution? Uh, 130 hours. Getting kind of bored. And even if Jurassic World Evolution had modding, 
You can't fundamentally change what's wrong with the game. You can with with uh, Operation Genesis because the INI file, that's basically a bunch of tweaks. All of the limits are superimposed on you and they're very surface level limits. You can't have all the dinosaurs you want in Operation Genesis because of a number. In Evolution, you technically can have all the dinosaurs in, in your park, but the map sizes are very small. See, the reason that you don't you can only place like five visitor centers or you have a building limit or, or all these things on the Operation Genesis is because of frame rate. And it's a very similar reason for evolution. But the problem is they went about doing these things in two different ways. And ironically, the worst part of their Zoo Tycoon game was the zoo limit. But when you take that away on the new PC version, suddenly you have this giant expansive land to build on and you're not superimposed by something surface level, like Operation Genesis had. But you know, something else is that even with all those mods on Operation Genesis, you know, after I spent hours building my epic park with every species in the game, that's, that's kinda it. I'm done. Like, it's the same problem with evolution, is like, well, what, now what? And it's an issue that, even with the amount of modding, you can't really fix it. It's a fundamental flaw. And yet, I still put thousands of hours into this game. Because getting to that point of boredom, it's fun. It's rewarding. There's no monotony. It's just quiet and peaceful and you can build your park. Hiding under all this annoying shit in Evolution is a really good game that I'm just not allowed to appreciate. You know, ultimately, I play a tycoon game for the freedom that it offers. You know, this is my domain. This is where I can relax. This is my favorite kind of game. Evolution just kind of makes you its slave. And I am so, so sad to hear myself say this. I'm really sorry, guys. I, I really wanted this game to be as good as it can be. It, and it's so close to being good. And it, it is a good game. But it's, it's so on the cusp of being great that it teases you with this great game that you can't play and you can't help but feel a little disappointed. So those are my thoughts. Uh, I know that seems very negative, but I really do love this game. Well, the update is coming out tomorrow, or at the very least just the live stream that will show the changes they've made, and I'm hoping we get a something a little bit more substantial than just minor bug fixes and content. Because this game doesn't need content, okay? That's not the problem. I, I would love decorations and I would love all these things, but the game itself has fundamental flaws you know like i do not want them to add more dinosaurs right now you have 48 that's 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 a lot okay because you, you can have all these these new content updates and you can have minor bug fixes and you can make the dinosaurs bigger but at the end of the day i mean if the game's just not fun if the most fun you have in this game is before you have any dinosaurs, then something's wrong with your game. Something is very wrong with your game. <laughs> look at the stars, look how they shine for you, and everything you